Hello! This is the one episode rule. I'm Magpie, and we have a guest on this episode. A guest? Some a guest? For, <laughs> someone who insisted on being on this particular episode for no discernible reason whatsoever. But anyway, can you all uh, introduce yourselves? Um, I'm Blackle. I'm not the guest. I'm yeah. Joey. I'm also not the guest. Uh, my name is the Eternal Bliss Delight, thirty under thirty luminary, uh, and <laughs> no, I'm happy true. to be. No, that's not true. Uh, hey guys, it's Emma. How you doing? Cool. <laughs> no, it's that's not. No, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not right. I mean, I'm excited to be here today. Uh, no, um, hi, my name's Louie. I am a friend of everyone here. Uh, going into this blindly, so that'll be fun. So, friend, uh, friend I'm probably going to say something. <laughs> well, well, hopefully you'll say something. We'll need an episode title at some point. Um, oh, you are, shit. You're, yeah. like, Louis, you're kind of like the Earl of the podcast because you are the administrator for the other server. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to need to explain this to it. me off show what that means. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure I can. <laughs> All right. Who is Earl? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. The only thing I'm pulling up is, um, is the fucking television show. Um, Earl. My name is Earl. Yeah. <laughs> well, Holy it's, been a, shit. It's, it's been a great episode, guys. Uh, tune in next week. <laughs> Does anybody have anything like anime related to talk about or anything? Uh, hmm. On this, I've our been... podcast, where we watch one episode of an anime. I've been playing uh, Yakuza Kiwami. That's basically an anime, that's right? That's anime. No, that's not anime. It's like that's not it's, anime. It's the other end of the spectrum. Yakuza games take place in hyper reality. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Super they... reality. Now, is it realistic to that they have like the stank auras though? That they <laughs> that they, that they're glowing with spec energy all the time. <laughs> that does happen in real life. You're right. Is Never it mind. normal that you that that Kazuma Kiryu gets into a fist fight every thirty feet? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, it is, actually. That's just the, what life in Japan is. The limit of my uh, experience with the Yakuza franchise was a mobile Sega game where it crossed over with like Sonic the Hedgehog, so... Rad. That's... Nice. <laughs> can can you insert like a ring effect noise? <laughs> Sonic-kun, <laughs> I respect your dedication to speed. <laughs> <laughs> Also, anytime you ask Magpie to edit something in the podcast, well, in the podcast, it never happens. It's like yeah, a twenty five percent chance that I'll do it. I figured. <laughs> you, there um, are so many episodes of just people begging to get something removed. <laughs> usually, <laughs> Emma gets removed. <laughs> <laughs> I typically only remove things if they're like like audio corrupted. So. Yeah. Okay. So. Well. Speaking of speaking of realism and video games, I recently got oh, the crew no? into uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon Two. Black uh, this this really it doesn't have anything to do with the topic of the show. Also, I, I don't I don't care. know if you got us into it more so than forced us into watching. I Same will let thing. you. I, I will let you talk about this only under the uh, the understanding that later we will get on the multiplayer and make an anime theme park. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, yeah. A fucking I do want to. <laughs> I do we want to point it. out that uh, everyone is playing Roller Coaster Ty Tycoon 2 wrong, and that you don't name your... People aren't naming the roller coasters, and people aren't naming their employees, and you need to do that. You need... I, I, you absolutely you need to make need to an entertainer. That. You need to make an entertainer dressed up as a pirate and call them Hatsune Miku. You need to do this for the enjoyment of the game. I did and make also... a roller coaster called uh, Hatsune Miku's Neckbreaker, I believe. <laughs> yeah, that was great. I think I think my favorite one was the medieval themed roller coaster Infinite Joust that I made. <laughs> I like I like I like very Magpie's good. very calming roller coaster. What was it called again? Oh, the soft bearded Christian coaster sponsored by Kellogg's, designed not to arouse the humors. <laughs> I, I I have anime news actually. All right, hit it. apparently John Oliver's Last Week Tonight made a My Hero Academia reference. Incredible. Oh shit. I don't I don't know this story. I don't either. I'm reading is it right it? now. <laughs> Do you yeah, have anything it. to add? Okay. Cuz I'm going to get into what? the I'm going to get into the quote unquote news which is just a series of shit posts. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um also 
the author of Attack on Titan says that the manga is 1% to 2% from completion. So, oh, wow. Cool. Well, better, it better, <laughs> better attack those titans. I guess that means I can stop hearing about it after a while. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Is Attack on Titan not cool anymore? I don't know. It just always seemed like... Like it's just kind of edgy. It, though, right? <laughs> I just I, I remember Marco Polo or whatever his name was. And that's it. Um, yeah. So, in the news, I want to I, I wanted to make everyone aware of these uh, shopping opportunities, which is uh, starting in February 2021, you can get yourself a genuine Evangelion Unit 1 inspired rainbow stove for the cold, cold winter. <laughs> what? You, rainbow have, stove? you have my money. You have my money. <laughs> The Rainbow Can Stove you- take is, it. Uh, <laughs> is manufactured by Toyotomi and is called so because of the seven colors that the flame glows while it while it is burning oil and keeping you from freezing to death in your little hovel. <laughs> Can you- Magda, it's very, it's very motherly. Need- I desperately need you to share a photo of this in the you need chat. To, you need to see this? All right. I need to see this because I am imagining... Okay. <laughs> That's incredible. It was a ima- I was wow. fucking imagining just a fucking like like cast iron giant stove that you find in like yes, an old I was too. <laughs> an old cabin just spray painted the covers of, of I, uh, yeah. I thought one. you were gonna go to I don't know why I thought you were gonna go it's just like a cast iron seven foot tall unit one just piping hot. <laughs> that, that, that's that's honestly room. that's honestly what I was thinking. Like I figured the chest would just open and you like you stick in the pan and cook or your you food. Know. Or yourself. <laughs> or yourself. It's a uh, <laughs> you know, get, get in the nine, robot. Get here, in the robot. And it's ready to tip over and scorch your toddler to death. Um, <laughs> Holy um, shit. So uh, yeah, this it's appears spon- to be sponsored by Tang. This appears to be a nerve branded uh, kerosene stove. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, it, compared to other Ava mer- merchandise, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, not? I agree. No, sure. completely normal. Uh, this one, um, this one, it, it seems like it would seem like it was more appropriate, but if you think about it for more than a second, it becomes increasingly more horrifying. Which is <laughs> celebrate your strongest anime bonds with the Tonakawa wedding ring contest. No. If you have a real life story of anime bonding you've been dying to share, like maybe you and a family member grew cro- closer while watching JoJo. <laughs> or maybe there's a friend you love going to cons with and attending illicit after hours presentations. <laughs> <gasps> well, if that, if that story means as much to you as you think it does, you should enter the Tonakawa Over the Moon for You Wedding Ring Contest to seal your love forever with this person with a okay. set of Tonakawa-inspired wedding rings. When you said when you said ring, I for some reason thought anime promise ring. Oh my god. No, no, stop. And that's the only thing that could have made this worse. <laughs> You're welcome. Happy to be of service. Sub- anyway, submit a video sharing your story of how anime has brought you and your significant other in your life closer together to Tonakawa Contest at Crunchyroll.com. You need to submit two to three minute video of this, and the prize is two X white gold wedding wedding rings from the vendor <laughs> Atomic Gold. <laughs> Atomic gold. Question: But what if I'm single? No need to be in a relationship. You can create the saddest video that has ever existed. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Really there? And you might win these wedding rings. I can can't you... mentally acknowledge this article any longer because of that. I am so sad. I need Let's the figure last out what one. We're gonna watch. <laughs> hey, I need so the last one. No, I need the implication to be that you're proposing to your anime waifu. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, wait, so guys, when are we starting the episode? Uh, <laughs> oh, I think question. we're about to. We're I about ask to. myself that all the time. So, um, uh, I figured, uh, since we're still digging through the backlog and we have a guest, I figured I would let Louie pick a oh, no. big me. horrible list of shows that silently threaten us with their unknown unknowns. <laughs> can I, uh, can I, can I, can I, can I pick the show that I suggested? 
I would encourage you not to pick the show that you suggested. I feel as though that oh, is because you, outside of the spirit of the... <laughs> that's fair. Um, give me a minute. There's one that just immediately jumped out to me, but I don't know if I want to subject myself to that. Do it. <laughs> oh, I encourage no you. No pain, no gain. Okay. Les Miserables, Shoujo Cassette, or whatever the... <laughs> yeah, however you call it. <laughs> Hell yes. Uh, so, submitted by Tyler, so thank you, Tyler. Thank you, uh, Tyler. Let me, let me, do, do, do we do we dox people like that? Is that a thing? Uh, if I decide it we, isn't a thing later, I can cut it out. <laughs> I thought you don't cut anything out. Well, I cut things I say out. This is no, live we've, TV. We've, uh, <laughs> we we've talked about Tyler's crimes on our upon our beings plenty of times. So so uh, so yeah, it looks like we are going to watch uh, Les Miserables, Shoujo Cosette. <laughs> I already regret it. So, uh, so Louie has learned the lesson about anime based on old Western <laughs> properties. I made a mistake. I made a mistake, guys. Yeah, we we have learned over and over again. <laughs> yes, we've learned multiple times. Uh, However, I will say this is the most boring western western based anime we've seen so far. Yeah, th- there's a thing with the increased competency. It actually made it slightly less interesting to watch. <laughs> it uh, it was really really like stale right up into the point where. Uh, where the evil Frenchman appeared, but we'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hey, do do any of us have any actual experience with Les Miserables? Um, no. no. I know the name. Oh, very Jean good. Valjean. <laughs> and that's it. I was like, oh I, shit, it's that name. I, I, but I that's do want to say. But... <laughs> I do want to say that I did look up on Wikipedia about this property yeah. after the after, and it was I'm going to say it is a French historical novel novel based off a French historical novel. Hmm. Um, it is one of the longest books ever written, mm-hmm. and also uh, let's let's read here. Um, more than a quarter of the novel, by one count, 955 of the 2070 or 2783 pages is devoted to essays that argue a moral point or display, display the author's encyclopedic knowledge, but do not advance the plot, nor even a subplot. <gasps> so, what I so feel here is that... Almost fucking half? Or wait, no, how a many quarter, quarter. A quarter. A quarter. A quarter of the book doesn't, adri- like, doesn't advance the plot. Oh, and no. I'm just thinking, like... They call that if a you're, filler arc. If you're, if you're going to adapt this show to anime, like this, not show, but book to anime... I feel like if you're not going to go into these digressions, you're missing a quarter of the content. So, like, uh, let's say, I, I think this is, like, tw- your standard 12 episodes. So, are you saying that every, like, uh, hmm. No, every, like, I don't think that's true, because I every saw three? Three episodes in the related videos, yeah. I saw episode 49. Yeah, oh, I remember holy. seeing oh. a lot of episodes. Um... Well, uh, let's uh, okay. Let's check my anime list. Let's see. How many There's anime. 52 episodes according to Wikipedia. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. That's far Great, too quick. Many. What's what's one quarter of 52? I can't do math. <laughs> this is an anime podcast. Uh, 13. <laughs> 13. So 13 episodes should be devoted to like so, an essay on on pure street on, urchins or something. Yeah, it's just an essay on like the the rights of man. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So. What um, is a man? So yeah, and I think it's really funny that we chose to do this one on the one that Emma took off because I'm fairly certain that Emma. Oh, uh, Emma would know all about this. The musical. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you're right. Probably Emma is more cultured than us, hands down. So uh, I, for oh god, that's the guy. I saw him in the intro, and I was wondering. There's no. Um, this is partially in my notes. But there's no like consistency between any of the character designs, and it's no. really no. funny. It's yeah. tr- like we 
We get one man who that looks guy. like Kaiji. Yeah, we get one literally... man who looks like Kaiji, and then the girl looks like Esper of Pokemon. It's, like, hey, it's, it's Shover! Kaiji! I, I specifically noticed that, like, the way one of the, like, little girls were drawn, like, looked, the eyes were, like, specifically, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! anime style, and then, like, <laughs> the other ones weren't. And I was like, what is happening? There is zero model consistency. In There's the no way. consistency. Uh, and the backgrounds also don't match the characters. No. no Which is really. going to be bad whenever they have to, like, move stuff in the environment. <laughs> because it's, like, painted in, like, a soft pastel style. <laughs> oh. can, we, uh, can we read the blurb? Because it's awful. Uh, would you like to read the blurb? Uh, as long as my butchering of French is okay. Go for well, it. don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're the most qualified because you have a French name. I mean, <laughs> sort of. Yeah, whatever. That works. Um, in 19th century France, a struggling single mother, Fantine, I'm assuming, uh, yeah. leaves her three-year-old daughter, Cosette, in the care of her new acquaintances, the Thernadiers? Is that... I don't yeah, know. Yeah, sure. I, Go for it. I, 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 my high st- or my college uh, were the Grenadiers, so whatever. Yeah, uh, sure. Unfortunately, Cassette's caretakers proved to be anything but loving, and the poor girl is subjected to repeated abuse and forced servitude. Still, she endures the torment in hopes of seeing her mother once again. <laughs> yeah. Well, we shouldn't have really expected anything else from uh, from a property that translates to the misery. So. Yeah. <laughs> God. Is this what the um, movie or is this what the musical is about? I guess. I think to a certain degree. I thought, yeah. I thought it was about like a gay couple or something because that's all Tumblr okay. talks about. Well, yeah, that, that's Tumblr. If there isn't a gay couple, they'll invent one. <laughs> Shout out to you, Destiel. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, we should have talked about that in the news. Oh my god, we should have. <laughs> it means not too late. But like, everybody's taken the time to make the jokes about it. It's just like, yeah. oh, watch this touching scene of somebody confessing their love for somebody who's holding back a slur. Yeah. <laughs> Super gay hell. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, anyone have some notes? Um, I have a lot. I, literally, my first note was about the evil-ass guy looking... That you I posted. Hate them. I oh, hate no, that's literally, not the same one. It's so funny that you said he looks like Kaiji because he <laughs> fucking does, and I hate it. That's sure. <laughs> that's so him. Cool that's Javert. <laughs> that's the yeah. the antagonist. Isn't that a Brockhampton <laughs> yeah. song? Yeah. Totally. <laughs> um, um. Anyway, my first note was when I um, noticed that the next video suggestion was a three-hour video of He Man going, "Hey, yeah." So hey, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Also, my second note was every old dude looks like an alternate universe professor Layton. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. They've got the period clothing down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which also, in certain scenes, make especially ones uh, containing one uh, one Gene Van Gene. Uh, uh, are we are we spoiling that? Uh, well, I yeah. spoiled it a second. Yeah, ago. we're gonna. <laughs> We're yeah. gonna spoil this. Um, er, er, things get to be like a like a weirdly Full Metal Alchemist looking, and I'm just like, hey, wait a yeah. minute, what's going on here? <laughs> I like the fact that they gave him a mustache so they didn't have to draw his mouth. Of course. Okay, I want to say one thing, which is, you know how like some animation studios will like, if they're if they're like creating like a a movie or some kind of TV show that is based in a very specific place, they will send their yeah. animators there to gather references. This uh-huh. is what happens when you don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, so it's like, oh, what are, our, what are our references? Oh, I don't know, like a picture book and Full Metal Alchemist? Okay, yeah. let's go. Let's make this. God, I, actually, I, actually, <laughs> I do have an FMA uh, note in my notes. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I at the very beginning, I was wondering if the daughter was going to get transmutated with a dog at any point. Well, yeah, totally. <laughs> Now, I'm just imagining, I'm just imagining like set people, and this is uh, the version that we that I watched on YouTube. I believe was produced for like PBS Tokyo. Yeah, that's just that, on that seems right. So there's a, there's a dude working on on a PBS educational anime, and he's just like in Japanese, you know, smoking, and he just turns around, and he's just like, "Hey, French countryside in the 19th century just looks like fuzzy Monet paintings, right?" <laughs> he, he's just working on it on a smoke break, and he's like, 
I could be playing Yakuza Kiwami right now. <laughs> I, 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 could be, <laughs> yeah. I could be playing Kiwami. <laughs> God. Um, oh, man. I did want to mention that at the very beginning, we are introduced to the... the during the incredibly tiring intro, we are shown that this is a Bandai <laughs> You notice that, too? And... Yeah, it's a oh, license, good old licensed Bandai product, so that doesn't and... mean it takes place in the Gundam universe. <laughs> my... my... <laughs> My deep, like my distrust in the Bandai brand, made this incredibly troubling because I mean, Bandai also did that teacher anime we watched, right? Yeah, yes, well, they sure did. Black, well, you gotta realize that Bandai Bandai is not in this for like the craft. No, they just gobble <laughs> what up whatever they can get me. their little hands That's on. What scares me is that I don't know what I'm gonna get into when I see Bandai. Okay, <laughs> Bandai. This, could be, this could be anything. You yeah, shouldn't. Like, you shouldn't even look at like look at them. They're a producer, a production company. They're just like, yo, hey, we bought your studio. Make some shit. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes money. We won't fire you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like right after I mentioned um, the, every old dude looking like an AU Professor Layton, I wrote this opening has been going for so long. It did Under go that, on forever. S- sponsored by Bandai Smiley Face. Mm-hmm. Under that, this is awful. Yes, bad, <laughs> bad show. Yeah, it's 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 strange. It's like competently animated. Uh, there's no unity in character design, so it's not like bad in the traditional way. But it's bad in like it's bad as entertainment. It's <laughs> right. Like, it's, it's like excruciatingly slow. It's co- it's mostly depressing because it's just realistic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But then it's happening to characters who look like they're from like early shoujo <laughs> manga. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um except for I the Thenardiers just... who are uh, fucking Disney villains. <laughs> yeah. God. Anime meets Disney. Anyway, uh I just did want to say that I hate the I hate the child so much. Literally all she does is just scream Okasan just loudly. That's her whole character. <laughs> Well, she's like a fucking toddler. Leave her alone. I know, but yeah, she she's looks like horrible. Four. I hate the look of her. She's like she's like a tiny gremlin. She looks like an alien. <laughs> that, yeah, well, yeah, that's just how it'd be here. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, leave her alone. She ain't fucking done, done growing yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's oh, got to eat more bread to grow. She's got to eat more bread. a lot of bread, bread talk. I... I loved the part where she just went into the store and she yelled, Pawn! Pawn. It's Pawn. They sell Pawn here, right? Pawn! Pawn is here! They sell Pawn! She looks like a fucking Pride. ant in that scene. She's so I'm, tall. She is so tiny. <laughs> it's not even, like, she's proportionally little. small. Like, she looks like she's made out of, like, craft dinner noodles. I don't know. She, she is like a, <laughs> yeah, is like a Victorian doll. <laughs> her, her head was in, like... Especially in the scenes from like the back, like her head was ginormous compared to her body. God, yeah. Look at the, look at this still that you posted in here again. She her mass is roughly the same as that man's head. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> um, is. I listen. I went to art school. That's called perspective. Yeah, it's perspective. <laughs> she's actually very far away. Yeah, she's <laughs> very far. I'm not sure about that. They are on exactly the same plane. No, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Louis went to school for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's an expert. Um, That's why you had me on today. I uh, I felt almost nothing and until... And I was just like, this is going to be a shitty episode. We're not going to have anything to talk about. <laughs> until... We oh, ran that's... into the Thernadiates, and specifically until the husband showed up, because Mr. before Twitchy that, ear. it was everything. But yeah, he twitched a little, and it was just like, oh, that's that's funny. That's like a little, almost like Lupin type thing. But then he stood up and walked in the most insane, like Lynchian fashion <laughs> I have ever seen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> towards the camera, and I'm just like, how do you, motherfucker? How do you live? <laughs> How were you alive? <laughs> he was um, bad to see. I hate this Charlie Chaplin ass motherfucker. Yeah, he, he did have a Hitler mustache. Yeah, did, yeah does he, he read did. more as Hitler than uh, or as Chaplin? I feel Chaplin actually on him. Yeah, yeah. he's I, got I like a broom that. thing going on that Hitler wouldn't have accepted in himself. No, it's it's very long. It's very long. It's like a very long, long toothbrush. It's mustache. like very narrow and very long. <laughs> yeah. It's incredible. Um, 
Incredible oh, can we talk about the fact that six months of rent or whatever for her boarding keep, I fucking did like the uh, like conversion. Like she handed over seven dollars and sixty four cents for. <laughs> Well, okay, they were that, very that, poor. Did you adjust for inflation? <laughs> well, you know, it's you know, it's pretty cheap to keep a child whenever you you intend on clothing them in rags and <laughs> whenever you you plan on like human trafficking, yeah. <laughs> you plan to enslave this child. I don't think they're gonna I, traffic her. I do think they're going to enslave her. <laughs> yeah, they're just gonna turn her into like a little Cinderella type character. Yeah, this is a uh, this is definitely that. <laughs> yeah, I wrote. In my notes, Final Fantasy taught me to trust in keepers. Fuck. <laughs> I do wanna. I do wanna just talk about the overwhelming absence of sympathy that they have for her husband dying. Right. Yeah, like, right. Why are you no. looking for work? Anything. She, why the, are you the, looking the, for the, work? The, don't don't oh you have? God. Isn't there a father? Uh, he died. <laughs> okay, go like, cry about it. Lol. This, Too bad. Uh, yeah. Lol. Fuck you. Well, this sort of, uh, this does actually sort of slot into, like, the morals of the time in which certain, th- like, certain living situations, no matter how they happen to you, were considered, like, fundamentally immoral. So being yeah. a woman without a husband and having a child meant that you were, like, literally sinful. <laughs> yeah. And you were expected to go to the church for, like, alms and shit yeah, <laughs> instead they... of being out. <laughs> Can we just, can we go back to like the whole her going to all of the places and being instantly just like give me a job? No. Well, no, <laughs> they'd be like job. sure they'd be like sure and then the kid would walk in and they'd be like, "Oh, never mind." Oh, it's a child. Oh, a child. Oh, Get out of here. Thing, the only thing worse than a job seeker. <laughs> a child. There's child. only one thing there's only one thing worse than a job seeker. <laughs> Uh, also, um, a child. That mom's a child no. job seeker. Um, that mom's gonna die. Yeah, she, I wrote that too. She is look. very pointy. Okay, she's got it. She's got real bad luck. She's real pointy. She's she looks like she could easily braid her hair, and she is living in the era of tubo- tuberculosis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like she's I, fucked. I I was just thinking, like, if she fell and like her head came down on something, it would just impale it <laughs> like to oh. slice she falls onto like the cobblestone and the cobblestone like shatters in half <laughs> she, she just falls into the like the the freaking uh oh, what is it called i'm not good at ge- uh it's geology like... Ma- mantle yeah sure the mantle, the mantle, the mantle of the earth. that's, I thought you were that's say... part of the earth i thought okay. you were gonna say the fucking like the fucking like uh um like the crypts under Paris or whatever you call them. Oh god, the tomb. <laughs> See, oh, I should have gone with that, but I'm not necro- educated enough. <laughs> the necropolis under Paris. The, I, I'm pretty sure this is actually kind of how Le, Le Mis the book actually goes, which is making me like want to like analyze it because yeah, even of even in its time, certain plot beats here are kind of like what because people. People even being from the bastard times would just be if you had your child with you, and it was clear right. that you would die if they didn't give you a job. They might just be right. like, they might at least just be like, sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And also, she is the least responsible person that I have ever seen. <laughs> She's desperate. Just give your kids to strangers. <laughs> yeah, I wrote yeah. down. I, where, what, what did I say? Yo, she left her kid with them before even knowing their names. What the hell? Yeah, they, they reached the agreement without introduction. <laughs> I feel they like, like give us your child. Sheltered. And like the you man, could even, you could still do it, but you'd just be like, "There's a church right over there. Priests are respected members of their community. Ask him to be a witness to this agreement." <laughs> mm-hmm. the, the, the man just instantly was like. Give me your child. And she's like, what? <laughs> Wait. Give me your child. Well, well, okay, s- then. Well, on second thought, <laughs> that sounds pretty good. I just he goes to over to his wife and he's like, play along. This this lady's a sucker. I, like, I just yeah. wanted I just wanted to know like how the hell like this great plan of holding on to this kid for eight bucks going to get them out of debt. Cause if that's the case I got, like, college money that I need to pay back. 
Well, back in the bastard times, people got into got into real shit for absurdly small amounts of money. Yeah. <laughs> but even even their motivations don't make sense because you could easily be greedy enough and just be like, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll gouge her for the extra francs. And then, but you don't have to treat the kid like shit afterwards. Right. You're just like, right. I guess you live here. Yeah. What do you want to eat? <laughs> Do you like goats? Because we have some. (laughs) (laughs) You're gonna get acquainted. (laughs) But then they're so evil. (laughs) I uh, yeah, that's why they're Disney villains. Yeah, in an anime. Yeah, and then they just didn't show up again for the rest of the episode until the very end. (laughs) I did. I did want to say that um, about like I think the scene before she meets the. The family, like the not the family, the the, the Disney villains. Yeah. Um, I was going to go fucking mental because I was so bored. Right? I had to increase. I had to increase so the failed. speed. I had like, to increase the speed to one point five. Um, like Bl- Black One, I have a lot of like debates about what type of speed you should be watching stuff at. But like, I actually what is agree a with you on this speed? one. Yeah, yeah. What is a respectable feed? <laughs> like, but, like speed. Li- it's literally, like, this, you do not need to respect this show. So go go ahead. Right. Like, literally, I they were just, like, walking through a field for, like, three minutes. And the daughter's like, oh, what's that pendant that you're wearing? And the mom's like, this is something I've had for years. And I'm like, how the hell does this daughter, like, not know about it until now? Like, what? Like, she, what's going on? I mean, what is the point of this? What is the context? Like the stupid age. Anyway. Children are dumb. But, like, um, there was no point to that conversation. And it went on for five minutes. Yeah, no. Like, the beginning, nothing really happened. It was just... I think they were trying to build, like, pathos for the pair of them, but they did not succeed. No, yeah. not really. <laughs> I, I don't... I'm, I don't have sympathy for wallpaper. Um. <laughs> I did also want to say that uh, when we hit the, the commercial break, I did I did feel like my brain was leaking out of my anus, so I had to set it to two times speed. Okay. Oh, and that gave me time to make these amazing memes. Black hole, listen... Listen, <laughs> I despise that you tell me these things. You can do them. Just don't tell me. <laughs> well, this is a review show. I have to I have to give my honest review. And my honest review is watching it to watch it at two times speed and it's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> so can I get my one my one uh joke in before we have to move on to the second half of the show? Hmm. I just wrote Oh shit, the economy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the economy! Oh god, no, the economy! economy. That's yeah. It. The same, I, I, yeah, I suppose you could divide it up into two halves. There wasn't really a commercial break in the one I watched, but. <laughs> well, it, I mean, like, it's not a commercial, like a little, like, it's just a little. Title. The eye catch kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the vest- vestigial place where a commercial break would go. It, it follows the mother and not the child, which I feel yeah. like, like anxiety inducing. I was yeah. like, oh, she left her kid, and now we're never going to see her again. <laughs> it's okay. like the, it's, when she returns, the child will be dead. Um, but <laughs> but no, nah, she she goes to, to a town up north where there's a factory hiring people, and you meet the saint, um, uh, Mr. Uh, what was he going by? Mr. Madeline? Ma- Madeline or Madeline? Something anyway, like that. Anyway, it's Mr. Jan Van, Van Jan. Um, yeah. Uh, and he is... Uh, <laughs> I know! He is like a cartoonish, like, parody of the nobil- noble hero. <laughs> he is too big. He is too large. He's, He's physically he lo- gi- gigantic, which is... He, what I said is he, he he looks like like old person magpie. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Maybe. I, I, I would describe him as a combination of Professor Layton with Louis Armstrong from uh, Full Metal Alchemist, but then, like, smooth him out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just erase some of those. Take some of that definition off. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, it does make sense for it to be the perfect interpolation of, of, uh, of Louis Armstrong and... Um, and uh, what's the guy? Uh, Layton. Professor Layton. Because Layton's head is a literal cylinder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a featureless cylinder. Oh, boy. Uh, but yeah, I do remember I'm sorry, John guys, being, like... like physically large in the book, too. So yeah. there's a big deal where he like pushes a cart off of somebody or something and saves someone's <laughs> life. Um, it's so anime. It's so anime. Yeah. 
this yeah. book from France in the 1820s or whenever the fuck it was written. I I did actually forget to mention something from the last half of the show. I mean, the mm. first half of the show, which was that, um, did anyone else notice how grating the, the, the money sound was when he kept shaking the money? Like, it felt uh, like they were drilling into my head. No. No? Huh. No, we, no. None of the rest of us had that particular... Uh, <laughs> dissociative moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me then. Okay, that's cool. It happens to the best of us. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I have no more notes. There's there's not much more to say. What about that whole like kid with the stealing the, kid the bread? With the bread and the and child has he's the just old like, man voice. Yeah, he's just <laughs> like you'll I, I'll I'll escape, and Come then on, he's just like here's just some, like, here's more bread. He's just like eat your dinner. <laughs> also, why is everyone eating just bread? Like, you are going to die. You are not going to get the nutrition that you need if you are only eating bread. Bread is like a weird, since it's, it's a, a staple of so many, like, old diets, it's like, it has, like, weird thematic importance in this text. Yeah, yeah but, like, you're going to get scurvy. Here's the thing is that if your options are bread or nothing, you go for the bread. I'm certain. I'm almost certain that the story predates the the germ theory of disease anyway. So they don't fucking that know how seems. people get scurvy. Well, <laughs> so scurvy next... isn't isn't a germ disease anyway. Isn't it? Isn't my, it my, my next... Vitamin deficiency. Yeah. Vitamin C, I believe. Eat yeah. oranges. Eat citrus fruit, guys. Like that's all I'm saying. You guys um, like yeah. you have scurvy? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> just like shaking and bow legged. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Your um, teeth are I have, falling out. <laughs> I, I have one note left, and it was when he lifted the child over his shoulder, and I just wrote, He's going to eat that child. <laughs> I, yeah. I actually wrote that too. I had a moment. He needs the uh, nutrition. I had a moment before the tr before he settled him down on his shoulder, where I was just like, "Oh, he's just gonna grab him around the stomach like a football and just yeet him into the." <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funnier. <sighs> yeah. So, um, yeah, so I, wr I, I wrote that. Uh, why doesn't the mom go get her kid and give him to this man? Because, well. In, in this case, it's probably because, A, she just saw him, and B, that kid's probably, like, a hundred miles away now. Okay, yeah. counterpoint. A, she just saw those innkeepers. That's true. Was we don't skip. know how long passed. Like, Maybe she already like forgot about her daughter. And then my next proposition was, if the mom's starving that bad, why not simply eat the kid? Why not eat the Wait a minute. I just realized something. She's probably scared that he might fire her for having a kid. Cause, yeah, I mean, that's bad, yeah. There's why? no reason why she should believe that. It shouldn't happen. Why? Now, just... he seems more reasonable than a lot of the characters in this. And I don't think he has, I will fire you for having a child energy. But I don't know. Well, well yeah, know. but that's the, the crux of the, the crux of the problem is that she doesn't know that. So Yeah, that's true. I, I well, believe anyway. um I, I believe the kids call that tragedy. Yes, yeah, so yeah. it, it may in fact be related to the miseries we keep hearing about. <laughs> for all they like for all she knows, she did eat that kid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, true. It'd be great if she never saw him again. It's just like, oh, he killed the boy, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Rung his neck. It's fucking He's just selling neck. something in the factory and it hits her. Oh, he oh. ate her. He ate him. <laughs> Uh, so so yeah, uh, what I don't know what you want us to say, audience. This is lame as a rob as an anime. Please don't watch this. It's bad. Or, or get drunk and do. I can't. All right, you. here. Watch We're here's the question. Cops. Your drinking the game. Question, Take a shot every time you want. Stop. <laughs> that I must ask of all of us that uh, uh -huh. whenever we watch one of these uh, novel related ones, I have to ask how you uh, how you think it compared to some of the other book related ones we've watched well what, it was the worst what are the uh, what are the book ones we, we saw we saw this one we saw tom uh, sawyer we Little saw women tom sawyer uh what else the other one I... our other historical anime isn't based on a book i don't think that's true that's, yeah we watched uh, uh wasn't it like rose, 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 of rose, rose of versailles yeah, rose of yeah. versailles was not historically accurate i don't think no <laughs> 
but I, I can't be sure. I'm not a historian. Um, um, I think those were the three, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So, I I actually thought this was less miserable than <laughs> all of the other book related ones we've watched. Really? Why? Well, I yeah. Great. I think I think I had the most fun in the Little Women episode because it was kind of unhinged. <laughs> that was a novelty. That's um, true. Hold on, there's a little woman anime. Yeah. yeah and it's, Watch our it's... podcast, buddy. Wait, um, you guys have a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> um, I do want to say that uh, I think this is the worst uh, for two reasons. One, it's boring, and <laughs> and it's also not interesting. Like, it's little boring women, and we not had little women. We had that girl who was like um, a little bit rebellious, which was fun. And Tom Sawyer. So Tom Sawyer had that. That scene where they chase a pig around, which was very fun. The, the, <laughs> because they're their two saving graces. You know what? There were two, there were many great pig-related moments. In, That's uh, true. Yeah. yeah. But here's the thing, is I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I well, would, not like you, problem. <laughs> I would um, more readily watch a second episode of Tom Sawyer or Little Women than this show. I, 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 have, I have to agree. My mm. recommendation is go watch Pop Team Epic instead. Yeah, yeah actually... can we just do a pop team ep- epic episode again? Is that allowed? <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> maybe if they come out with more. Actually, now that you're saying it, I think Little Women was maybe better than this, but I didn't. I just didn't like Tom Sawyer. It's dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Yeah, but it was. It was better than you. this show. No, disagree. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's leave it at that. How about that? So would you watch any more of this? No. <laughs> no. No. Absolutely not. No. I would watch no. it at eight times speed. No. Um. Actually, no. <laughs> Sixteen times speed. No. So it's just like one sustained note. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just like, <laughs> it's just like, oh, it's pain. I see. Okay. Like, as an anime, not good. As an adaptation of Les Mis, not good. As just like media to absorb, not good. <laughs> Like, the question I really is, should I really should have picked AKB48. <laughs> the question you should ask yourself, um, listeners, is is this a good representation of Les Mis? No. And don't think about the musical. You got to think about the book. The book. Uh huh. <laughs> um. On the homework, other hand, read Les Mis. On the other hand, at least it wasn't a high school anime. At least. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Okay, a high school no AU school version of Les Mis would be interesting, though. You know what? You've got a point. But at the same time, <laughs> we did watch like eight eight high school animes by accident in a row, and I, we're all very tired of it. And by it, accident. And they became like increasingly like. Deranged. <laughs> yeah. Deranged. Okay, but just think about it. Jean Valjean Senpai noticed me in the hallway as I was walking to class. Uh, I hope he will give me something for White Day. There, boom, <laughs> hope, there, there you go. I hope, I hope, I hope he doesn't get noticed by that awful Jean Air song. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so I with that, oh, I really want to wrap this up. <laughs> okay. Oh God, let's yeah. get out of here. So if if you've spotted uh, if you spotted a wanted criminal, you can report <laughs> them to uh, to one episode cast at gmail dot com. That's one the word, not the number. Uh, I, I got I got something that that we could take us out with. Okay, cool. We um, also have to talk about the Twitter really quick. Okay, yeah. Because that's that's just uh, we we do tweets on there. Um, Sometimes there are tweets. Sometimes there are tweets, um, but uh, yeah, that is also uh, at one episode cast, I believe, and that's still one, the word, not the number. But uh, yeah, Louis, Louis, tell us your your last little thing here. Give us your your end joke pitch. Oh, I just wanted to say, everyone in Texas can rest assured, the butthole tickling bandit has been caught. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. And with that, we go. Bye, everybody. Good night. I've finally been exonerated. <laughs>